Oh, they're asteroids. I see. They also split like amiibos. Amiibo mod. Okay, it's amiibo. Yeah, they sell divide. They're my toasting. My sizing. Time to walk through the middle. Oh wow! Bounce gun. Okay, so you kill one boss and you get a. An item to use. And you kill another, you get a. Weapon. Ah, I see, it'll bounce off of walls. New perk, Fire Force. Need this fan service. In this is an interesting way to build a game, though. I like that. I wonder if you could also... Um, I wonder if you could also code it in such a way where, like... The textures will be randomized. That might be kind of cool. Cause like this is this is neat and all, but I, I as far as I know, like all the levels that we were just in will always be done, and all the levels that we were in will be like what levels? Oh wow! Pardon me. Just jeez. the level down system. Because sometimes you'll just be near the brink of something and you'll constantly be leveling in between, you know, where you were at and where you're going to. Like, if, if you just keep trading hits. That's kind of silly, isn't it? Shouldn't that be not how it works? I feel like it'd be, I feel like it'd be more okay with it if I, if I didn't have to go run and pick up the XP. I just got the XP for killing something. Because then that also means that sometimes it's worth it to not kill the guys. You know, because there's that thing in a lot of Dooms where, um... You know, they have, like, a they have a part time. But then if you're not getting the part time... In a lot of Dooms, like, the part time is impossible to get if you're getting 100% kills and 100% of the secrets. He said to me, Stop. I think we're going to fuck Yeah, I think I did. Presumably, this is an upgrade. Because this is the tier 3 Dr. Turner. Maybe it's not upgraded. Kind of cool. 
slowest rocket ever. Oh, big dumb rocket is my name. Okay. Junk man. All right. I might cut this into two. Stacking odds against you. Okay. I imagine the part time is primarily here just to ensure that the player logistics. I imagine the part time is primarily here to ensure that the player does not just hang around and like stock up on. Because, like, the item that I get, you know, essentially a screen clear, it appears to be a, uh, the, the uh, item I get, which appears to be a, a screen clear of some kind, recharges over time, and so the part time is probably there to... Ah. Item charger. It's been a while since I've actually played a Halo game just because I'm running out. Follow Joe, the developer, on Twitter. Oh, man, Twitter. Let's take a look at the menu. My win-death ratio. That's painful. So if I pick new game, I now have Fire Force, immune to environment damage. Junk man, loot never vent. That should not be. Fuck you. That should not be a thing. <laughs> Come on. That's so incredibly basic. Let's do that peas and carrots pistol. I imagine the part times must just be a, um... I imagine the part times must just be, like, adding together all of the, uh... Everyone knows, quote unquote, how long a level should take. And the part time is probably just them adding together every, like, second that you take on every individual level. Because this one is so really hard to pack. This is why most games would have this niche built by a. This is 
why most games would have this like killed by a Like, um, I, I played this game for Halloween. It was really good. The dev actually talked to me. It was pretty cool. Really interesting uh, part of my career. Um, anyway, yeah, I played this game called Infra Arcana. And the developer actually talked to me. He, just, uh, he was like, he put some pro tips in the uh, in the uh, in the comment section of my video. And I was like, that's fine, that's it. Uh, and then I, I thought I'd recognize the name. And I was like, and I took it to the channel and it was like that long. I was like, oh, shit, are you a developer? He was like, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you like seven. Let's not use that peas and carrots pistol. That's really boring. Stage seven, twenty-four tanks. I haven't even seen a tank. Stage under the part time. Find five secrets. Twenty-two different items. Um, applying gender stereotypes. We finally caught you, you sick fuck. But there was this thing that happened to me with, um, Infra Arcana. Where I was like, just dumping myself back in there as quick as I possibly could, just so I could play more. And I would like watch the Yeah, I would just like sprint through the early uh, things. Uh, try and get to the, to the deeper stuff. And like, I don't know, maybe, maybe the earlier bit should be a bit more intense. You know? There's this thing that I talked about. Um, I don't know if it's real. But I feel like most people think that like half of um, half of Dark Souls 1 is good. So like people spend 10 hours playing the game getting to the end. Trying to get the part time. People spend more than half the game getting to the undead parish, the undead bird. But then, you know, at that point they've then learned how the game is supposed to be played. And so they get to the next area way quick.
level up thing. Oh god. I'm aware that there's a whole level up mechanic, but like, I want to be able to shoot quickly from the start. Shooting fast, shooting a lot of guns is really fun. Like, this, one of the slower weapons in, in default stock room is the shotgun. The, you know, stock weapon in Doom, the shotgun, which I think is the fat, uh, the slowest gun, still shoots faster than this thing. That's a thing I think that any developer should be one to avoid. You know, you should never be... You should never sit the player in front of something and then the player goes, I wish I could, I could be playing Doom. And not because Doom is not awesome, because Doom is awesome. Don't, don't think that's what I'm saying, but... With all of your fancy 4K HD graphics and uh, you know another 30 years of game development, if you can't top Doom, if you can't make Doom better than what Doom One is, there we go. That thing. If you can't do better than Doom. Then, then what was the point of all of this, all of these years of game development? That's fine. I might split this into three, I think. Um... But I had a good amount of fun. Um, this has been Friday Night Roguelikes. I guess this is three videos now, but it's good to see you guys. Good to talk. Good to play a roguelike again. Good to play a shooter roguelike. I enjoy playing shooter roguelikes. Um, I would have recorded Post Void, but Post Void does that really fun, awesome thing that every person who records a video game loves, where when you start playing the game, it just starts on gameplay. And it's like, oh, look, fun. We have a prologue to do. It's like, can I fucking do my video card settings? Can I have a settings menu? Can I do settings? Can I do recording setup? Any of that, please? Like, playing game before you get menu is so a story decision and it's stupid every time. Let me do my recording setup. Let me do my, my settings, you know? Like, there's way, way too many games where it's like, all right, playing a game on PC with a controller and the game's like, all right, here's our cool action prologue. And it's like, can I set up my controller? Can I put it on my TV? Can I use my other monitor, please? Video games, man. Hey, if you're a dev, don't do that, you know? If you want to have the cool intro to a, to a menu, make a secondary menu. Make a crap menu that's like, all right, are these settings good? Okay, cool. Does your controller work? Okay, cool. Have it just be black with white text. And, and, you know, let me set my, my, you know, 1280 by 720. Let me do it like that. Let me, you know, make sure my controller works. Let me push the start button on my recording. This is more, this is more for me because I do have to record, but have to get to, um, this is more for me because of the recording thing, but you know, way, way too standard of just press start. You know, oh, the game's playing now. Oh, if you wanted a menu, you should have used Steam. Steam's your menu. Go to hell. Let me, let me, let me get a video game experience, you know? Don't make me bumble through a tutorial with a keyboard and mouse. And then when I can switch over to, to controller, I've not done the tutorial with a controller and I don't know what to do. Sorry. <laughs> I should have aired this out while the game was going. But anyway, yeah, I would have recorded Post Void, but it, it does that fun thing with a prologue, and I was like, ugh, you know? Because I, I can't do practice now. I can't do setup. But anyway, um, this has been Tower of Guns. It was actually pretty good. Um, I do like the uh I do like the game. I think it looks a little muddy, and I think for it to say uh fast paced in the in the uh, uh steam description i don't know if i agree with that um i think that it could be a, a a damn sight faster i think every gun should do less damage and shoot more i think that would be right i think you should run faster um that said for 2014 i think that this is pretty cool um it describes itself as a lunch break 
Uh, yeah, it describes itself as a lunch break roguelike. I love lunch breakers. Where, you know, you can sit down and play a full game in five minutes. This has a 76 on Metacritic. I think that that's pretty accurate. I think that this is a 7 out of 10 game. I think that's totally fine. Um, and then, sorry, I should have grabbed that price for you. Tower of Guns is $15, but it's actually currently half off as I'm recording it right now. And when the first video goes up, that will be the case. But later, not so. Uh, but until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. We were playing Tower of Guns. Uh, I'll have a good day. You have a good day, too. See ya.